Hey Harmony House, how's it going? I am here with my furry friend, Captain Noodles, to do a little recap on what we've read so far in The Magic Misfits. So, to start, we met our main character, Carter Locke. And Carter Locke is not in a great situation when we first start this book, right? His parents had mysteriously disappeared. We don't know what happened to them. And he was left to live with his Uncle Sly. And Uncle Sly was not a good guy, right? Uncle Sly used uh, magic tricks to steal from people. And while uh, Carter also loved magic tricks, he used them to make people happy and make people smile. And so he did not agree with his Uncle Sly's way of life, but he was just a kid. Uh, one day though, he decided that he had enough. After uh, his Uncle Sly tried to steal the diamond necklace from Ms. Zalewski, uh, Carter got it back from Ms. Zalewski and then decided enough was enough and he ran away from his Uncle Sly. He hopped on a train and he ended up in the town of Mineral Wells. So on one hand, he's away from his Uncle Sly, who was not a good person. But on the other hand, he's now alone. He's a kid alone in the world with no food, no money, no place to sleep. And uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't really want anyone to notice him right now because if someone notices this boy alone in the world, they're going to send him back to his family. And his only family right now is his Uncle Sly, which he does not want to go back to. So he heads into the town of Mineral Wells and he ex explores a carnival that's in town, Bazo's Carnival. Uh, and he's kind of looking around trying to find some way that he can get some food or anything to help him through this day. And he comes across a man named Mr. Dante Vernon. And Mr. Dante Vernon is also a magician that likes to do magic tricks like Carter. Magic tricks to make people smile, make people happy. Uh, and so he ends up giving Carter a card, an ace of spades. And he tells Carter, there are some bad people in this town we are going to try to use you and your skills for bad things. Don't give in to them. So he, give, he leaves Carter with this warning just to beware of these bad people and don't give in to them. And then he disappears. So Carter continues exploring the carnival, looking for food, when one of Bazo's goons grabs him and brings him to Bazo. And this is when Carter meets Bazo for the first time and Bazo says, you should come join my crew. I'll give you food, I'll give you a place to sleep, but Carter would be helping Bazo to steal from people and to do bad things. And so in Carter's head, he's thinking, no way, I don't want this. As much as Carter needed food and a place to sleep, he didn't want to be in another situation where he was helping someone do bad things. So he decides in his head that he does not want to help Bazo, but he doesn't say that out loud. Instead, he's clever and he says, I'll think about it. And that way he's able to get out of there, get to safety, and get away from Bazo and his crew. So uh, that night he falls asleep on a park bench and he wakes up in the morning to find that he was covered, someone covered him with a blanket and put a little bit of money in his pocket. And then he also discovers, he pulls out that ace of spades that Mr. Dante Vernon had given him. And there was a little secret flap that inside that had the address to Mr. Dante's ver magic shop. To Mr. Mr. Vernon's magic shop, excuse me. So he goes and finds Mr. Vernon's magic shop and there he meets, again, he meets Mr. Dante Vernon. He met, meets uh, his daughter, Layla, who is an, a young girl about Carter's age who also likes to do magic. She does escape artist magic. And she meets Layla's other dad, the other Vernon. And the other Vernon is a chef or a cook. So uh, later on, Carter goes back to the park where he ends up helping another boy named Theo to stop some of Bazo's goons, some of Bazo's carnival crew from stealing from people. And he makes friends with Theo. And lo and behold, he finds out that Theo is friends with Layla and another girl named Ridley. Ridley is a girl and she's in a wheelchair. So he meets this group of friends and they really are so kind to him in a way that Carter hasn't felt in so long. Uh, and he feels good about these people. He wants to be their friend. He wants to, you know, kind of find a home here with people that care about him. So uh, Layla, Ridley, and uh, Theo decide to show uh, Carter their secret hideout 
where they practice their magic tricks. So Layla and Theo are both really excited about Carter. They want to bring him into their group. They want to love him. They want to teach him their tricks and be friends. Ridley, on the other hand, was a little skeptical. She wasn't sure, right? She, she didn't fully trust Carter yet. So, but they decide to show him their secret hideout. They show him some magic tricks. And that is where we left off. They're all hanging out together right now. So watch the next video for chapter nine. See you there.